being here. Thank you. I loved Dumbo. And I just wanted to know, many people have said that it's like the most Tim Burton film of his career. So as someone who's worked with him for so long, what do you think makes it so special? Yeah, well, it, it really started with the initial idea of reimagining such a classic animated film. And, uh, you know, initially when I read the script, it instantly I understood that, you know, he's an outsider. He's kind of one of the first outsider characters in, in Disney's filmography. And Tim's career is full of being a champion for outsiders mm -hmm. and, and people that feel like they don't belong or characters that feel like they don't belong. From Frankenweenie to the Mad Hatter, you, you know, he's got this uh, amazing way of being a champion and people that maybe feel that way in their own life, mm -hmm. they've really adapt, you know, they love anything that Tim does. So uh, Dumbo seemed to fit in perfectly with that. You know, in my in my mind, you know. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. And also, I thought Dumbo himself was just like the most beautiful part of the film. Like, really felt like the most human element, even though he was surrounded by actual humans. It's great that you say that because for Tim, that was mm -hmm. he kept saying that. You know, it, seeing Dumbo rendered, you know, mm -hmm. fully was one of the last things we saw in the film come together. And Tim kept saying, like, it's it's about Dumbo. So many things are from his perspective. Mm -hmm. You're you're seeing things from his perspective. The you know, the pink elephants on parade, the, the bubble sequence, it's it's through the eyes of Dumbo. So you can kind of have a little bit of fun and, and go with how would a an elephant, you know, what's an elephant thinking he's seeing? You know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. it, it kind of gave a little bit of liberty to have fun with sequences the like that. The pink element, elephants kind of like remind you of the original animated exactly. sequence. And speaking of, the home release is coming. And yes. with that means Easter eggs. Yes. So uh, can you tease maybe like in what vein we can expect them? Like oh, wow. other Disney movies? other Tim Burton movies, oh, wow. like what are we looking at? Well, you know, there's so many great things on this mm -hmm. DVD and, you know, personally I'm really excited about it. You've got you've got some deleted scenes, which, you know, for the sake of just kind of pacing and, mm -hmm. and keeping the focus on what we needed to keep focus on, there are things that didn't make it into the film, but I think in, in a home video release, people will find them really interesting because they kind of give you a little bit more backstory mm -hmm. and, and character, you, you know, of what's going on. Uh, but yeah, there, there's most of the Easter eggs in the film are nods to the original film, mm -hmm. you know. So, and I think in repeated watchings, you'll pick up a little bit more on, on Timothy Mouse and mm -hmm. and 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 just little little nods that you see in the original film, for, you know, that maybe you didn't pick up when you saw it in the theater. So, uh, okay. th there's so many. <laughs> I think there's a whole running list that you'll see on the DVD. So, uh, speaking of repeated viewings, is there any aspect of the film that you think like demands rewatch? Like, what's your favorite part? That you oh, just want to well, go back to. For, for me, I, I love I love the, the third act. I love when when you know the escape. You, you know, from from well, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to reveal too much, <laughs> but but when when our group comes together, when our circus troupe kind of comes together mm -hmm. uh, to kind of reunite, yeah. you know, the two of our main characters, I, I get really swept up into the story at that point. Even though I helped make the film, I I still <laughs> when we get to those scenes, I get really yeah. excited by it, and, and, and I, I feel like I know what you're talking about. And I yeah, really and you get lost in the character because mm -hmm. he's so he's so adorable. Yeah, that's that's really true. And speaking of his adorableness, um, I think that one of like or it sounds like, based on what I have learned today, one of the reasons why Dumbo was so lifelike was because of Ed Osmond's physical performance. So can you talk a little bit more about the merging of the amazing animation? Yeah. Well, it became work? clear that mm -hmm. when we filmed, you would need something there to kind of serve as an eye line, mm -hmm. you know, for the other actors, the, the live action actors to play off of. Mm -hmm. But then we realized, no, you, you need something also for the animators to work off of in terms of the space that Dumbo you know, occupies, and also if there's contact between the actors and Dumbo, mm -hmm. you need something serving that purpose. And, uh, you know, we had a number of different suits that Ed Osmond could wear. We, we ended up using a couple of them. One of them, I think you'll see in the bonus features, mm -hmm. kind of looks like an insect. <laughs> we were a little worried about how the actors would play off of that, but he made such a convincing, you know, Dumbo, mm -hmm. that I think the actors adapted quite quickly to that, and they were able to kind of respond to him emotionally. He made it really convincing mm -hmm. and, and I think that really helped everybody in, in rendering uh, you know the, the final realization yeah, that's of, great uh, like it's almost impossible to believe that there wasn't actually like a little elephant there so exactly. yeah. <laughs> you guys did really we well did our that. job yeah. <laughs> uh, finally what's next for you professionally like are you working on helming your own work are you working on the next Burton yeah, project yeah well you, you know uh, Tim has his touring exhibition which uh, uh, has been going on for 10 years now. It's coming to Las Vegas next oh. in, in, the, in the fall. So, uh, you know, w within Tim's company, we're kind of gearing up for that. It, there's a show right now, like a VR kind of exhibit in Brasilia. And I'm sure, you know, Tim doesn't sit idle for long. <laughs> you know, he's taking his time kind of seeing what's next. We're not sure what that'll be. But, uh, 
and maybe I'll fit in a couple of projects of my own in between then. Well, so I look we'll forward see. to either. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much. <laughs>